Welcome. This course explains how to use Captivate's multi-score application to package Captivate files published for an LMS so that they are easy for clients to upload. This tool comes with Captivate but very few people have used it. So, we decided to create a short lesson to show you how easy it is to use. This lesson will show you how to use the Adobe Captivate multi-score packager. It will also explain how to add additional items such as reference documents or demonstrations to the package. One of the easiest ways to access the SCORM packager is from inside of Captivate. To do that, open the File menu, then, go to the New Project menu, and then, select the Multi-SCORM Packager. The Multi-SCORM Packager opens. This is just a small application that lets you package several lessons together for easy delivery to clients. It also makes it super easy for the client to upload the file into their LMS. There are three options for templates to use. Your selection will depend on the type of course you have and if you added remediation or tests. For this example we are going to use the first template. It is the multiple SEO template. Just click once on the template to select it. Now, you will fill in the information for the package, which will be used by your client's LMS. First. Open the version menu, then, select the desired version of SCORM to use for this package. We are going to use SCORM 2004. Next, type in an identifier. We use the same name that we gave our course. In our case we are using change. If you have multiple words, remember to use underscores. Most LMSs do not like dashes. Then, add in the title of your course. Our course is called Remedy Change Management. You can have spaces in your title. This will display in the LMS, so, make sure that it is a short but descriptive name. Then, add in a description for your course. This also displays in the LMS, so make sure that what you add helps students know what this course covers. Add the version for the course. This is version 1.0 of our course. Click the OK button to continue. Now. It's time to add the files to our package. Click the plus files button. Browse to find your published Captivate files. Select the zip lessons that you want to add to the package. You can use the shift key to select multiple files at once. Then, select the OK button. You will then be returned to the multi-score packager. And, the files you selected have been added. Sometimes the files are not in the correct order. You can rearrange them now if desired. Click on the file you want to move, then, use the up or down arrows to move that file to be in the order you want. Now, it's time to publish the package. The Publish SCO package window opens. Confirm the project name, then, browse to the location where you want the package to be saved. Once you are there, Click the Select Folder button, and then, click the Publish button, followed by the OK button. Now, you can close the packager. Now, we are going to add some files that we did not include in our published Captivates. This is not always necessary, but we'll show you how to add them in case you ever need to do that. First, we need to go to our zip package file. We need to unzip it to be able to add the files. Just right-click on the zip file with your mouse. Then. Select the Extract All item. The Extract Compressed Folders window opens. Click the Extract button. The extraction process begins. Now, open the folder created from the extraction. Because this is a SCORM 2004 package, we will add our files to the linear folder. If this were a SCORM 1.2 file, we would just add them at the main level. This is where our lessons are located. We are going to add a folder called Linked Items. This folder will have a bunch of downloadable documents in it that are referenced throughout the lessons. Adding the linked files this way allows us to just add the document once, but reference it from multiple places. The folder could not be added in the SCORM packager because that only imports SCORM published files. I have those files in my folder called Holding. I'll copy them over now. I'll right click with my mouse on the linked items folder. Then, I'll select copy. Optionally, 
I could have just used a control C to copy the folder. We'll jump back to the linear folder now. Then, you can either use control V to paste the linked items folder here, or you could right click with your mouse and select paste. Either will work, and, the folder and all its files are copied into the linear folder. As you can see, these are some very large files. This will take a few minutes. Once the linked items folder and files are added, you can review the folder and remove any files that may not be needed. This is usually not necessary, but it's a good practice to review the files before you repackage everything. Next, we are going to add another folder called Demos. This is the folder we use to hold system demonstrations and simulations. Those are launched from various spots within our lessons. We typically do not set them up to report to the LMS, because they are practical exercises for students and they have the option to skip them or go through them multiple times. Additionally, we use those for refresher training later on. You may not have a demo folder. In that case, you can skip the step. This is an old screenshot and it shows Swift files. You will typically not have those now. Instead, you will have folders with each demonstration and simulation published in HTML5 in its own folder. Select all of the files and folders that you want to copy. Using the Shift key, click on the first file or folder. Then drag your mouse to select all of the files and folders that you want to copy. Then, right-click with your mouse and select Copy. Navigate back to the linear folder. Now, go to the appropriate folder to add your demonstrations and simulations. You may have them within each lesson, or you may do like we do and put all of the demos and simulations in one demos folder. This is more efficient because you might reference the same demonstration from multiple lessons as an optional refresher. Paste in the copied files. Now, we'll go back to the main folder and re-zip the package. This is the part where most people mess up. You cannot repackage this by just zipping the main folder. That will not load correctly in the LMS. You need to open the main folder, then, select all of the files and folders inside that folder. Then right click with your mouse to re-zip them, open the send to menu, then, select the compressed folder item. And the zipped package is created. It will have a weird name. You'll rename it to something appropriate next. Right click on the zip file and rename it. Type in your new name. Then, press the enter key. That's it. Your files are repackaged. Now, you have a package SCORM file ready to load in an LMS. The package has multiple lessons within it, as well as some linked documents demonstrations and simulations. This demonstrates how you can add files to a SCORM package that are not within Captivate or are Captivates that are not reporting to the LMS. That's it for this topic. Thanks for watching. If you would like to hire us to purchase one of our courses, or have us create a custom course for you, contact us at the email address shown or via our website.